All right, maybe the power is long here. It must be in one of these rooms. Yo, Mr. Bear, I need you to help me solve the puzzle. We're going like full Scooby-Doo on this. Maybe I talk to you now? Doesn't seem to be anything here. I feel like I'm being watched. Oh, Rotom, don't do this to me. Luke, Luke, is that you? You right, guys, it's Game Boy Luke here. Oh, thank God, it's only- Ah, okay, stop! <laughs> What's going on, everyone? My name is Patterson. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Fusion Generations 2. And now, like in the last episode, we claimed our which badges list. Let's have a look. Our fourth gym badge. Look at that. Look at those badges. They're so fantastic. And today, we're going to bust down the doors of the Team Galactic Rocket Hideout. It's weird to say that, actually. Team Galactic Rocket Hideout. And we're gonna get inside and we're gonna mess up their business. We're gonna walk inside, we're gonna, they're, they're gonna say, what are you doing here? I'm gonna be like, I'm here to beat you up because you're bad guys. And you'll be like, oh, you're kind of quiet. Are you, you know, what's going on? You're, you're a little bit too quiet, are you okay? I'm gonna be like, yeah, I'm fine, what do you mean? So if you guys are enjoying the series and you wanna see more, be sure to destroy that like button. All right, below this video, let's have a look at the squad to see what we are rocking with today. We evolved our starter into its final form last episode. It is level 36 now, which is a little bit ridiculous. But we do have SS Jack level 29, Cutie level 32, Merry Bells level 31, Asterix level 30, and do for now. I do want to mainly focus on Asterix and SS Jack because those are two Pokemon that really need to evolve at some point soon. And they hopefully will evolve at some point soon. I hope so. Just like, you know, our noodles, our sub noodle evolved into Spook Noodle. Hopefully our Asterix will evolve into whatever the, the fusion of Steelix and Tangrowth is. Hopefully it's more uh, grass and ground type and not steel and grass type because that quad weakness to fire would be really bad. But hey, if we get an SS Jack, that's a Sharpedo Dugong fusion. I'm excited to see that. I'm excited to see that. Let's bust down. I already broke this rock. I already broke I already broke this rock. And in fact, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. There should be something around here that I can pick up. Yes, there is. A bright powder? Oh, don't mind if I do. I'm gonna throw some pocket sand in some people's faces. It's gonna be wonderful. They're gonna be really upset at me. I actually, what do I wanna give it to you? I guess I'll just, do I want to replace the Mystic Water for the chance to miss moves? I don't know if I do. You know what, I'll just, I'll, I'll just give it to Doofer for now. It's not holding item, might as well just do that, honestly. And then we'll rock on into the hideout. Hey guys. What's going on? Is Luker and ah uh, Luker's not under disguise this time, like he was in the the game corner. Oh wait a minute, what? Hello, this is open. Ooh, I don't have a Rotom, <gasps> but wait a second, there is a Turner. I didn't go into a Turner Forest, guys. I didn't go into a Turner Forest. I need to get an encounter from there. I need to look at. I need to. You know, what I really want to see is ah. Uh, you can just rock. Okay, so a Turner Forest encounter is gonna be a Roselia. That is fine. I am totally down with this. I love Roselia. Or I love Roserade. I think Roserade's great. I've always loved Roserade. Like ever since, oh wow. You were, you were six levels below me and you did that much damage. Jeez, okay Roselia. I know my special defense is not fantastic by any means, but oh, now you leech seed. I should have thrown a quick ball. Oh, I should have thrown a quick ball. What was I thinking? And I still only have Rock Smash. Ah, okay, I'm putting you into sleep. I'm missing! Oh, come on, don't be like this. Don't be like this. You know what, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put it to sleep and I'm just gonna try and catch it because it's just gonna be at full health and it's gonna hypnose, I'm gonna, it's gonna leech seed everything that I have. No point in switching here. I mean, I'm still getting leech seeded though, which is really annoying, but hey. Let's try a Dusk Ball because I'm pretty sure that the forest area counts as a dark place, right? It, it should do, hopefully, right? Oh, you know it does. Perfect. All right. Fantastic. There you go. Nice one Pokeball catch. It's like a one punch if it was a po poke Pokeball. Okay, I was gonna go ahead and call you. What am I gonna call you? What am I gonna call you? Mirror, mirror on the wall. What's the finest name of them all? I was like, where did the music go? I'm gonna call you Mute because the music muted. Mute. Uh, uh, Mute Jump. There we go. We got Mute Jump. Our uh, uh, Roselia. It's went to box 48. I need to sort the boxes. I really need to sort the boxes because I keep forgetting to go back and look at that. And there's a bunch of Pokemon who shouldn't be in certain boxes. Also, hey, 
Okay. Now, what is the area with the Rotom? Now, I can get the Rotom because it's a static encounter. Oh, wait, you're just, you're just here? Huh? Oh, no. Come on, man, it's not Halloween anymore. Spook noodles are still on sale, though, even though it's not Halloween anymore. Link in the description if you want to pick one up. They're absolutely amazing. Come here, buddy, dude. Come here. Oh, no, he keeps disappearing. All right, you know, I'm not going to fall for this. I'm not gonna fall for this nonsense. I'm a real man. I'm a grown man. I'm not scared of haunted houses. You kidding me? Help me. Uh, I'd rather not, to be honest. I'm not a superhero. Who do you think I am, Spider-Man? It's not me. Oh, okay, there's, there's a maiden here. Maybe she's the one who needs help. And she's dead. Oh, okay, fantastic. That's that's exactly what I wanted to see. There's a TM in here, though. Ooh, the TM from Will-O-Wisp. That's fantastic. Thank you very much. Where's, where's Charon? Is that what his name is? Oh, good. A terrifying bear. Am I gonna get jump scared in future generations? That can't be the case, right? It's an old tink, tink? Pink teddy bear. It's wearing a badge that says Officer Carmen. Oh, good, great. All right, fantastic. Okay, Rotom. Let's not, let's not jump scare me, bud. I'm gonna put cute, no, I can't put cute here in the front. I'm gonna put merry balls in the front. So you're electric type, so you, you'll be okay here. You can T-wave, I mean, you can't T-wave Rotom, I don't think, but we'll try. Wait, there's not anything here. Oh, wait, what? It's empty. Oh, do I have to like, do I have to like, oh, hey, are you, hi, oh, okay, hi, hello. I always knew I would end up back here. Right. Upstairs, there is a computer. Its contents can be very dangerous if they fell into the wrong hands. Please, stop that from happening. No one else needs to get hurt on Team Galactic's account. So he's, he's dead then. He must be dead. Oh, he's a ghosty ghoul. Oh, okay, okay. All right, let's delete the, what's on the computer. First off, let me steal from dead people. Fantastic, I love it. Okay, let's delete what's on the computer. Doesn't have any power. Oh, no, we need to, we need to get the power on in the house. Okay, I know exactly how to do that. We gotta, uh, wait, there's no basement area? Surely it'll be in the basement area. Doesn't have any power. Let's see, we, we gotta get the power on somehow. Oh, leftovers, okay. I'll take it. Now, if I was the power, where would I be? I, oh, full inset, this place is great. This place just gives you, and this place just gives and gives and gives. Wait, the statue, the statue. Does the statue have any information for me? The statue does not have any information for me. Or maybe like the power is outside, like around the back or something. An old gato, wow, this place is really generous. <laughs> This place is very generous. All right, maybe the power is long here. It must be in one of these rooms. Yo, Mr. Bear, I need you to help me solve the puzzle. We're going like full Scooby-Doo on this. Maybe I talk to you now? Doesn't seem to be anything here. I feel like I'm being watched. Oh, Rotom, don't do this to me. Luke? Luke, is that you? You right, guys, it's Game Boy Luke here. Oh, thank God, it's only- Ah, okay, stop! It's following me. Oh no, what are you doing? Oh, what? It was following me. Put the power on. Wait, oh, am I supposed to not look at it? Oh, I think I was supposed to not look at it. Wait, did I mess it up? Uh-oh. Oh no, did I ruin it? I, I did, did I, did I ruin it? It's empty. Wait, 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 I, 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 I'm sorry, did I mess, I, I'm sorry. I found elixir, I mean, that's good. Okay. It's not Halloween anymore, guys. I think I may have messed this up, but we'll, we'll check all the other uh, possible, possible solutions here. We'll look through all of the rooms, click on all the walls and stuff. The Rotom was following me. Was he gonna like turn on the power for the thing? I mean, he might have been able to, or maybe I have to like trek through the rest of the rooms first. It looks like I can't get like just a random encounter from here, so that's kind of upsetting, but hey, what can you do? I mean, at least it means I, doesn't, I don't have to like activate repels and stuff here, which is kind of nice. Oh no, I died, died the Rotom, he was gonna be my best bud. Rotom, come back. Okay, I don't, th I think that either I messed something up or like something isn't working correctly, maybe? I'm not really sure, but hey, let's have a look at it. Um, wait, wait the, 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 the teddy bear, the teddy bear, the teddy bear. Do you have the solution? No, maybe if I uh, interact with him and then go back here. No, okay. Well, I tried, dude. I tried. Not really sure what, uh... Yeah, I'm not really sure what's supposed to be on in there, but hey. 
We did try our best. There's an Inkata there. I, I don't know if the... I, I might have to come back to that later on and solve the mystery of that because... There's, obvi there's very obviously something you're supposed to do in there. And the Rotom kind of like disappeared when I turned around. Oh. The rock smash is gone? I mean, I guess as soon as you go in, the rocks just go away forever, which is fantastic. Because that means I can reteach Dazzling Gleam to Cute Hoot and get rid of rock smash. Fantastic. That's amazing. God, I love that. All right. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. And now do I need to heal? I mean, I have Poison Jab that I can teach to someone to... Maybe I can teach Poison Jab to like Asterix, make goodness fairy types? I don't know. That'd be kind of cool. But we're gonna rock out and destroy the Team Galactic presence in Eterna City today. That is our goal of what we're gonna do. So I want to make sure that I don't die. That would be nice too. All right, let's go upstairs. Huh? How is it? I just, I smashed the rock. It really wasn't that difficult when you think about it. I just got to like go in and croak off. Oh, it's a croak off. Let me get the flame charge. Let me get the boosties. Oh wait, poison type moves are super effective against me. And so is Mud Bomb. Uh, th that's true too. Mud Bomb is also super effective against me. That's true. All right, Merry Balls, get that experience. Enjoy that beat. Oh, woo, look at you. Nah, I don't think I can one shot this thing. I really don't think I can one shot this thing. And I need to switch out into, I think Asterix honestly is the best bet for me here. Don't know, this thing looks really threatening though. Ooh, oh, you made a mistake. And Patrono does have the flames on the back. That's amazing. Oh, you fricked up, dude. You fricked the heck up. Sorry, PG, bad words are uh, ba bad words. <laughs> oh no, it's the it's this thing again. Ugh. Oh, it's this thing again. Great. I do need to train up SS Jack though. SS Jack needs some a serious experience. Why would you give it fling when it doesn't have anything that I can actually fling? I guess this is part of its level up moveset, but still. Why would you use fling when you have nothing to fling, you forehead? All right, I'm going to... Yeah, SS Jack. I was like, what am I doing? I, I had like a, a momentarily moment. A momentarily moment where I was like, I don't know what's going on. But I have one job, and that's to make sure you don't get to the top floor. Uh, well... You will fail in your job and you will be summarily fired and dismissed and then you will end up on the street trying to find another job and you will fail at finding another job and you will be very sad and have to move back in with your parents and your parents will be like, see, we told you the Team Galactic business is no good. You should have just been, went to school to be a lawyer like we told you. And you're like, shut up, mom. I, I, I know, I'm sorry, I, I love you. And then you'll bond with your family again and everything will end up okay. That's what's gonna happen. Smackdown's looking pretty good here. <laughs> okay, Asterix, you really need to evolve soon. I hope you, I really hope you do because you are not doing the business that you need to be doing right now. In fact, I have to go into Patroner because Vaticate is a little bit too threatening for me. Yeah, that's, that, that did nothing. Speaking of threatening, that did zero damage. <laughs> Absolutely zero. That, that's gonna take it out. Fantastic. Hopefully I get Flamethrower on Patroner soon. I really hope I do. No, no screech, no screech. I don't want to. I don't want to screech at things. Listen, we have to be nice and quiet. Oh, it's another Batakay. I ah oh, man, I wish I had the option to switch. Um, you shouldn't be able to one shot me. I really just need to do switch training here. Air cutter. Hey, you missed, you idiot. Come on, this is a Golbat that actually has eyes. Wait, Golbat has eyes. Never mind. Yeah, Golbat does definitely does. Wait, Golbat has Golbat has eyes. Yes. Golbat has eyes. I was gonna get confused with Zubat. I was like, Zubat doesn't have eyes, so Golbat doesn't have... No, it does. It does. Absolutely does. Though, the mouth on this thing is terrifying. Seriously. Look at the jaws! This thing could eat a crocodile whole! Pick it up in its big-ass mouth and just crunch? Thing's dead. How'd you kill an alligator with one punch? One crunch? One crunch! <laughs> Sorry, imagine that. Ooh, Lava Plume! Yes, 30% chance to burn. I absolutely will take that, thank you very much. Ah, oh, and it's a Skunk Bat. Okay, that's not as much of a threat. And now that I've said that, I'm gonna lose something to it, bet. That was a rhyme! Okay, wait, okay, that, that that is totally fine. Wait, rhyme and fine. That's, that kinda rhymes? Okay, comment section. Does rhyme? And fine, rhyme. I don't, I can't, I, I can't tell. 
There are some things where you're just like on the fence and you're like, ah, I mean, you know, ah, kind of like that. That's that's the position I'm in right now. Slash. Oh, and you didn't even get a crit. Oh, that's so sad. Get a lava plumed forehead. Keep calling things forehead when scun back, scun bats. Doesn't really have much of a forehead to begin with. Aqua Jet is vastly superior to Ice Shard because it's a water stab move. I have the Mystic Water on it. No reason to have Ice Shard over that. No reason. I have the one job. Yeah, you literally did just have one job. What's up there is one of my concern. But that makes it exactly my concern though. Ooh, hey. Ooh, toxic. Wow. Just like most of YouTube comment sections. Not this video though. This video is going to be a nice positive comment section. And if I'm wrong, then hey, I'm wrong. But hopefully this is gonna be a nice positive comment section because I didn't really do anything dumb today. Well, apart from maybe the, the whole uh, Rotom scenario, but usually people only get mad at me when I do dumb things. Like, for example, when I left to go to the Pokemon Center, or sorry, I left to go and buy potions, and I went to the Pokemon Center and went back into the building. In fact, that wasn't even toxic. People were just like, no, you're, you're, I was yelling at you. Why did you do that? And also the part where, the video where I, hold on. It's Team Galactic Rocket, get it right! The video where I didn't realize that Team Rocket, you know, the Jesse and James scenario when I came out of Catlin Leaf Gym, everyone was like, yeah, I knew it. I was like, damn, am I? There were a couple comments who were like, yeah, Powers, I didn't realize either. And I'm like, yeah, fine, good. I'm, I'm glad that we, uh oh, that's a grass type with Fire Fang. I, okay, wait, if you're a grass type, then I should just be able to, there we go. There we go, Treehounds. I love that name, actually. Treehound is a really cool. Oh, no, 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 no. This is a really cool looking Pokemon. This looks like a demon. From like some sort of hellish Diablo game, you know? All right. Well, if you're all grass and dark, then I'm just gonna go into Asterix. We should be able to one of you on this thing, I hope, anyway. Leaf Babe, we eat those? We don't really eat those. But I can get poison powder off here. Screech is fine because you missed. And we land the poison powder, good. Now. I guess SmackDown is the way to go here. This should... Ah, oh, we lived a crit! Yes, Asterix! Let's go, Asterix, you beast! Okay, fantastic. Now we just heal you up, and don't misclick on the wrong Pokemon because that would be really embarrassing. Okay. And we live a crit again! Wow. Look at you getting lucky with all these critical hits, but I live all of them. Don't misclick, Daniel. I know I'm gonna do it eventually. I bet, right now, note this down in your in your notebooks. I eventually, I will, uh, you know, I, I might as well just do switch training here, actually. Eventually, I will miss, or I'll misclick on a Pokemon and something will die for it. I still remember that one time during my Auras randomizing those lock, I don't know how many of you guys remember this, my Blastoise died because I clicked on the wrong Pokemon and that counted as a turn. Even though the Pokemon that I clicked on was fully healed, it still counted as a turn and it's haunted me ever since. I know it's gonna happen again, so I'm trying to be very careful with that. Very careful indeed. Okay, level 33, fantastic. Team Rocket Go. I guess not much of sense. I guess some things never change. Oh, that's a reference no one's gonna get, actually. That is, uh, that is from a certain YouTuber called Miracle of Sound, who is a fantastic musician. Absolute shout outs to Miracle of Sound. Great musician. All right, let's go ahead and rock it up here. There are a lot of grunts in here. What do you think you're doing in here, kid? Fucking your day up! That's what I'm doing, obviously. That's what I'm here for. That's literally the only reason I'm here is to ruin your day, specifically. Oh, toxic. Come on, don't be like that, scumbat. Don't be like that. Oh, I didn't even do half. Man, SSJ, you need to evolve soon, and so does Asterix. I should switch into Asterix just for that little baby bit of experience. In fact, this thing gives off good experience, if I remember correctly. And I might even be able to 1v1 this thing. That's neutral. Oh, but we got a crit, nice. Kind of pays back for the double crits that you got last game, huh? All right, that's a level up. Now, if you have the generation four learn set, you should, oh my God. Is he T-posing? <laughs> is he T-posing, dude? Okay, uh, I, this is fine. I am gonna switch though. Dude, I have two fairy types on my team and it's not really working out in my favor right now considering everything I'm fighting is poison type. It's not great, but hey, we got Patroner here. Patroner gets toxic, that should be okay, hopefully, because we spire off a big lava plume. Air carrier, that should be okay. That was a crit. 
That was a critical hit. That is actually embarrassing for you, Krotank. Oh, uh, but actually, no, because now I have to switch. In fact, I think Doofer is actually safe here. Because it's using Air Cutter. I know I'm seven levels below, but I think Doofer is alright here. Right? Am I right? Swift? Oh, that did a lot of damage. Okay. Okay. Well, I don't really want to sack off Doofer. So let's go into Merry Balls because what I've seen so far, I have not seen a Poison type move so far. There's a Swift again. E I, I should even be able to take a Poison type move. My monitor just turned off. I love when my monitor turns off. That's really nice of it. Spark? Yeah, Swift. That's absolutely fine. That is A OK. -okay. Go away. That is A OK. -okay. I told him, go away. All right, Asterix. Does Asterix get experience for that one? Yes, it does. Well earned experience for everyone there, boys. Well earned experience. Asterix is how much away from leveling up now? 600? Oh, I'm so close. All right, I need to get back and heal though. I absolutely need to get back and heal and I'm gonna keep an eye on my health. So I'm at 37 right now. Yeah, and now we're at 33. Okay, so now we should be in the 20s. Am I right? Am I in the 20? We're in 27. Okay, and we go down. And we're just gonna make sure that we don't die at 25. Okay, we should be absolutely fine here. We should be absolutely fine here. We get ourselves nice and healed up without worrying about anyone dying to poison because I've only had like a couple of Pokemon die to poison through my time of being a YouTuber. It was a little bit embarrassing because the first thing that happened was an infinite fusion, I think, another fusion game, and I let a Butterfree die and it was silly. But to be fair, it was because of the, the, the speed up program I was using was counting two steps as one and I wasn't, I didn't notice that. So hey, technically, while it was my fault, it was, I didn't realize that something was happening in the game. Oh, we're getting stronger. Can you feel the pressure yet? Oh no, you got a pressure Pokemon? You're gonna throw out a Lugia? A Lugia? Oh, you know what? Someone made a good comment in one of the, the, the episode that we saw, the Hojia, where he said he could have called it Lugio. That was such a missed opportunity. Matt, if you're listening to this, you could have called it Lugio. Lugio! It would have been so good. But okay, we got Asterix here against a Crow King. You're really the king of croaks, aren't you? All right, I'm bringing out the big, uh, we're pressing the red button here. We're pressing the red button. Double hit, that should be okay. We take those. All right, the red button has been pressed. Hit that lava plume. There we go, get the burn. The burn, get the burn, get the burn. Yeah, nice. Sludge bomb. Ah, okay. Now this is a bit of a rough situation to be in. Don't really, in fact, I should have picked up some potions. I should have pup, 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 picked up a potion. Now I'm in a little bit of a rough position because he can just sludge bomb me and there's not many switch-ins I have for a sludge bomb. So I, I could just heal this turn. I think I need to heal this turn. And we'll just see what happens here. So I heal, you're gonna go for a mo. I'm really glad that missed. But I should outspeed you. And then I can finish you off with a lava plume here. Yeah, I outspeed you. All right, that was really scary for a second, actually. There you go, level three. Please learn ancient power. Please learn ancient power. Natural gifts! What? No! Oh, come on, man. I have to wait for you to learn Age of Power for like five more levels now. Ah, oh, jeez. All right, well, I'm gonna heal. I'll be right back. Oh my God, they have, wow, okay. Okay. I didn't realize they'd have like good TMs here. All right, give me Giga Drain, yes. Okay. I guess I'll have Fire Blast too. Um, should I just like, get, I should just get these. I mean, I have the money to spare. I just bought this entire shop out. Okay, I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty pleased with this. I got I just bought Giga Drain to give to my boy with the big roots as well. So this is gonna be fantastic. Oh, I thought it said it couldn't learn it. I was about to be pissed. I was about to yeet a noodle. I would never normally yeet a noodle, but I was on the verge of yeeting a noodle, and you can save a noodle. Uh, let me let me adver advertise my noodles. Hold on a second. Uh, link in the description. You can save a noodle if from being yeeted if you buy one. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the greatest advertiser that's ever existed. <laughs> okay, um, it's time to go up, and it's time to go up. Have I battled you? I seriously haven't battled you? How many people are there in this place? 
This is ridiculous. All right, what you got? Another crow tank. Asterix, you can deem well with this. I got toxic again. It's a good thing I bought a bunch of antidotes. And that did absolutely nothing. Are you kidding me? Most of my Pokemon can't really handle these guys. I have to rely on Patrona pretty much 24-7 to deal with these crow tanks and all these... Uh, don't crit me. That ate damage. Are you kidding me? That was pathetic. Oh, I was kidding! I'm sorry! I was kidding. You're not pathetic. You're really handsome and cute and smart and all. Oh, look at you doing so well for yourself. Jeez. You didn't have to crit me. That wasn't necessary. All right, let me just use a fresh water because we all know that water is vastly more effective than any kind of human medicine. Oh boy, do I love my water. This is water, by the way. Hmm. It is definitely water. I don't really drink it. Yeah, G Fuel. Rock slide? Oh, you bet I will. Oh, you bet. I can't wait to miss some rock slides. This is going to be good. I love missing rock slides. It's going to be really fantastic. All right, Batacate, I, ah, uh, uh, as much as I would love to like switch it up and put SS Jack in here and you know, I'm just gonna do it. Sometimes you gotta roll with the punches. Sometimes you gotta make those risks. Sometimes you gotta, oh, we're fine. See, there was absolutely no risk whatsoever there at all. And we switch back into Patroner and, oh, Super Fang. Interesting, okay. That's actually kind of annoying. That is a, that is a pretty good move for you to have actually. Assurance? Ah, but you didn't spam it. Thankfully, you didn't spam it. So let me hit you with the Lava Plume. 30% burn chance. Didn't get it. Acrobatics. Oh, that does a lot. Wow, that does a lot, actually. Wow, I'm impressed by how much that did. Jeez. Okay, Super Fang again. Do I outspeed you or do you outspeed me? I'm pretty sure I outspeed you, but I'm a little bit terrified at this point. I need you to use Assurance again. I mean, I'm gaining health all these turns. Or, or just, yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Thank you. Okay, I did outspeed you. Wasn't worth taking the risk, I don't think. Wasn't really worth taking the risk. Okay, SS Jack, when do you evolve? Like level 37, something along there, I'd say. Probably level 37. Never mind, it's level 32. Okay, fantastic. Well, I mean, this is what I was looking for. Finally, we're getting another evolution here. And we get the very thing that caused me to lose my original fusion generation Nuzlocke, Shargong. That was the reason why I lost my first original Fusion Generation Nuzlocke, and now we have him on the team. He has SS Jack, and he has bad special attack. But he has Thick Fat, so that's good. He has Aqua Jet, he has Ice Fang, he has Crunch. Actually, this is pretty good. This is pretty good, with the exception of having Surf on the moveset. Like, I'd rather have, like, a Waterfall, obviously. But uh, apart from that, it's looking pretty solid. So, I'm gonna cure your poison. I'm gonna cure... Now I'm gonna cure what ails you, Kate Cody. Wanna buy my snake oil? I mean, I, I have two snake Pokemon, essentially. Like, I mean, well, not really a snake, but I have one snake Pokemon, essentially. All right, what's up here? God, you're kidding me. There's so many of you guys. Jeez. I'm just gonna solo you guys in Merry Balls. This this has to be it. Uh, open this and sit it out over there. We're about to pick up a very important package of the door, man. Hold on a minute. Why did I tell you that? <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm really bad at this being a grunt thing. I need to use uh, Kermit the Frog voice too. Woo, Metabat! Oh, that's right, I can't use. You know what, I'm just gonna go for the spark. Ah, uh, you're not flying type, you're poison type. Ah, uh, calm minds. Okay, that's fine because I should not speed you and I'm gonna get the speed so I can not speed other things too. There you go, perfect. I use the Kermit the Frog voice more than- Kermit the Frog? Hello, petters, I've been waiting for you. <laughs> Foon grow, oh, this is perfect. I can kill this thing with a- well, the flame charge, that's super effective, right? Hey, there you go, perfect. All right, Merry Balls, keep killing him, Merry Balls. Keep killing him. I am struggling a little bit against the, like, sheer number of poison types in this area, but we're good. We got huge power, we're good. We're one shot on things, we're taking lives. We are taking those lives. Merry Balls is fantastic. Yeah, you shouldn't have said that, you idiot. No more questions, don't ask any more questions. Fine. No one has screwed up my plans in your city. Yes, that's me, hello, that's me. I, I was that person. You know, it's nice to be recognized for your achievements sometimes. Oh, wow, why? Yeah, why, why? Just, I'm a little bit confused as to the to the reasoning behind this one. Poison Sting, great. Why, oh, why? <laughs> like, just, just why? Can I have one of these? I feel like these wouldn't actually be all that good, to be fair. Because it's just, it's just a worm, it's a, anything fused with the wormple is gonna not be like, you know, pretty not great. If I'm being completely honest right now. I'm not gonna pay. You're gonna pay, you just paid me actually. All right, let me get the TM that's around here. I don't wanna leave that here before anyone yells at me. 
Whoa, wait a minute. I just got a new HM and it's called Cold Feet. What? Cold Feet? Freezes the target's feet. When used on a person, it allows them to walk on lava. What? Cold Feet HM. What is this? Okay. Freezes the target's feet and drastically reduces speed. Okay. That's not that great of a move, but that's interesting how it allows them to walk on lava. I don't know about the logistics of that one, Chief. <laughs> All right. Stop right there. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I have the sound for this. I have the sound for this. Hold on a second. Wait, where is it? There it is. Stop right there, criminal scum. Ah, oh, it's Team Rocket. <laughs> Where's the other twerp? <laughs> You're making this too easy. Hello, is someone out there? Please let me out. I really need to get home. Quiet, you're not going anywhere. Thanks to you, the boss can't show his face around here no more. So he promoted us to executives and put us in charge of the operation. Prepare for trouble, you won't beat us this time. Prepare for trouble. Make it double. Prepare for trouble. I'm gonna destroy you. Oh, wait. This is a bad Pokemon to have out right now. I should just go directly into Patroner. I am really scared about being doubled up on right now, but hey. Sometimes... I, maybe I can get, like, a Rock Side Flinch. If I can get, like, Rock Side Flinches, that'd be amazing. Yeah, get Rock Side Flinches, please. Please, 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 please. Get the, get the flinches. Get the flinches. No flinch. Okay. Unfortunate. My special defense has gone down. Sludge Bomb into me. Uh, okay, didn't get... I mean, that's perfect. Oh, Lava Plume. I need to go into SS Jack on the Lava Plume. Yeah, I gotta make the switch into SS Jack on the Lava Plume here. But Lava Plume should do a lot of damage and potentially get some poisons. I mean, uh, some burns, sorry. Ah, I hit my own Pokemon. Don't burn my own Pokemon. Okay, I didn't burn my own Pokemon. Bless. Yes, I've got the burn on Weezing. Okay, perfect. So now I'm paralyzed. Assurance, that that is fine. Now, I didn't really do too much damage to myself, but there's no reason to do that this turn. In fact, I should just Aqua Jet and Bites. That's what I should do. Aqua Jet into the Weezing and bite the Arbok. There you go. Get rid of the Weezing. That doesn't have an attack this turn. That's perfect. That got a lot of experience for that. Absolutely fantastic. Level 39. I'll take that. It goes into Licky Tongue. Crunches me. We should be able to take that. We do, but my defense goes down. Uh, that's not great. But you go down too, so we knocked out two of them. Uh, okay. God, it's like an MBL battle. Merry Balls wants to learn Rain Dance. Merry Balls is not allowed to learn Rain Dance. Okay. Level 33. That's fantastic. Learn to learn Brine. No, we already got Surf Bud. Can't get rid of that one, unfortunately. Okay. Weeping Bell comes out. Ah, this would be perfect for Lava Plume, but I have a defense drop here. In fact, I'm going to Lava... No, no, I can't. I can't. I have... I think I have to double switch here. I have to go into Asterix and into... I don't even know, actually. Asterix and Doofer, maybe, to get the Intimidate off. In fact, the Intimidate could be really useful right now. I mean, the Weeping Bell is probably going to have, like, Sludge Bomb. So something might die here. But I don't want it to be, like, my MVPs if something has to die. I really don't want Asterix to die either, though. Stun Spore. Okay. A. Missed. Good. Slam into me. A. Perfect turn. Perfect turn. All right. Now I'm going to Giga Drain the Licky Tongue. And I'm going to switch Doofer into... No, actually, instead of switching, I'm going to use this turn to heal up Patrona so I can switch it back in next turn. That's the strat, dude. That's the strat. God, we're so good at Pokemon here. All right, I have a nice little big root. We get a lot of it. Oh, no. Oh, no. The game has crashed. Are you kidding me? Not again. Uh, why? Oh no, the game has crashed again. <laughs> oh, I have to play through this stuff all again now. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> okay, well, that's unfortunate. What if I do this? No. No, it's, uh, there must be something wrong with the big root or something wrong with Giga Drain. Damn it, okay. Well, that's where I have to end up today's episode because something's glitched out, so that's unfortunate. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, please do destroy that like button. Alright, so do. Thank you so much for watching. 
and I'll see you guys next time.